What's going on traders? Today we got a good video for you. It's going to be nice, short and easy, but some good lessons in it. So make sure you stick till the end. I want to go over my previous week's trading where I made $3,000 all in the same setup, which we'll take a look at here shortly as we look at the markups. But I think there's some good lessons to be had even on the winning weeks of what we can repeat, what we can look to still improve on. But just the similarities of that's my strength. That's what I want to hone in on. That's what I want to maximize on. So we just look at the markups real quick. I had two trades last week. So you can see one is Euro CAD. We have yesterday's low boxed off our Asia range low. That's my favorite key level. If you've seen any of my videos, that's where I'm pretty much taking all of my trades off of now. It used to be yesterday's high, yesterday's low, high week, low week. Those still are great key levels, but I'm just finding the most success on specifically the Asia range. So if you're trading the 15 minute like me, it is a good, a good zone to keep an eye on. So you can see we get a new low of day. First pullback. That's also a good note to write down. First pullback is also where I find the best trades after a new low of day. Perfect L50. The daily shifted down. So we're just riding that trend. And someone asked me, because our best A2s usually go immediately into profit. So in the opposite direction of the previous bar. So we want it to be bearish. But you can see it actually closes small bullish. But if you look at that zone, it's still holding that. It's still holding my anchored BWAP. Stop loss is nowhere near to be touched. We're still in the 8 and 21 downshift. So my rules tell me to sit in. I often find where it pins my Asia range low, it often wants to full body it. So it didn't really scare me too much because we only pinned it. It's still holding it with the body. I'm going to sit through this. And then you wait another 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. You're into profit and then you get shot down for 2R. So it's just a simple break and retest following the daily trend, following the 15 minute structure of a new low and pullback. We'd look at it again. Inversely on UJ, a new high of day compared to that left one, right? This is higher, so it's another new high. First pullback after that, again, Asia range high. Alpha done this isn't as clean, but if you look on the daily here on the left, I liked it a lot just because I'm riding the trend. I'm riding the upshift. We pin the eight. Now we could be looking to close back bullish because that's what the overall trend is. And it retested that previous resistance from the earlier August. So I was comfortable with this L50 because it's not nearly as nice as that one we just looked at. But you cannot deny the price action itself of just Higher lows here on the bottom, a new high of day. Stop loss gives me space below the VWAP and below that previous structure point. This one goes immediately into profit, holding that zone as well. The next one, 1R, straight to ADR. Pain-free, 45 minutes, you're at ADR, you're out of the trade, and you can see it comes back down. That could be because of ADR. But other than that, this is a good lesson of those just two trades, $3,000 in one week. If you could just repeat that same process, looking for the same trades, not throwing around trades, trying to chase other setups just because one's not enough, two's not enough. I need more. This is on SPX. This is when I'm not at the desk. So I would have loved to have been in this trade. I was traveling back from Florida visiting Austin, but this is another clean example. They're all going to look very similar. Another new high of day. First pullback, we get the A2 signal off the Asia range high. Perfect L50. The daily is in the upshift. I really like this because of the, the previous day's close, holding the 21 EMA. So that next day, I want it to bounce right off it, ride the trend. The 15 minute structure is making new highs. It's telling me that the, the daily trend still wants to hold and you just ride it. It holds, it starts off bearish, but by the 15 minute close, you got to wait for the close. Too many people react mid candle when it's, oh, it's bearish. It's following through. Why did I go long? Wait for the close. Even if you have to walk away, come back, don't micromanage it. Too many people exit their winners too early before it even turns into a winner. It holds there immediately into profit. 30 minutes later, 45 minutes later, you're definitely at 1R. And again, right through ADR. Another good thing about this, the FIB stop is way down here. I don't want to or need to be long if we get for a new low of day. That just doesn't make sense. So you're actually able to tighten the stop, get better risk reward to, I'd say, probably this previous structure point where it shifted up earlier in the morning. That's a nice level to give you all the space you need to hold that age range high, hold the VWAP, and just ride the trend. Now, other than that, this is now this week. This is on oil. So we got Forex, we got indices, and now we got a commodity. They present on all these ones. Another new high of day. And at this point, it hadn't hit ADR. It only does because it falls later on in the day. But 15 minute, perfect L50, higher highs, higher lows, new high of day, clearly. It is quite a strong pullback, but if we're just sticking to our rules and our plan, that is on edge of a new high of day. First pullback to our Asia range high, which is also our yesterday's high in this case. Perfect L50, like I mentioned. And with this, you can see the FIB down here. 
we could bump it up again. A fib stop is too big. We want the stop loss at low of day. If it takes that out, do you want to be long? Probably not. So you can take that. You can see it only goes 1.1 R, so not the greatest mover. You got to be real, real quick with the taking profits, but it is a winner. It is a good setup. And the crazy thing about this, if looking on the left side here now, the daily chart, extremely bullish. So that would feed into your long buys, but that could also maybe make you hesitant because when is this thing going to pull back? I mean, we've had leading into this, we've had six, seven bullish days in a row. Do we want to go for eight? Does that happen often? The probability say it can do that. It wants to do that. We don't want to predict that or try to guess it's going to turn around until maybe it starts painting bearish structure. So up until that, it's still making bullish higher lows, higher highs. Keep trading it that way until it tells you you're wrong. It's going to turn around. So that's what you get. You get one R. Then it comes back down. Okay, not too surprising. It's been very overextended. It probably wants to come back to the eight EMA at some point. So I think, again, this video is not for you to trade just like me. You don't have to take these specific setups. You can if you want. Sure. But the whole idea of this video is just you could see I'm taking the same exact trades, the same setups all in the 50 minute off the key level. L50s vary, but they're mostly in my favor majority of the day, if not all of the day. EMAs in trend, retests, good stop loss, and I hold into 1R or ADR. So the whole idea of this is just pick your trade. What's your edge? What's your best setup? And then take that consistently. I see so many traders take a good setup. Maybe they take this, which I define as good, but then they take a one minute. Then on a five minute counter trend trade, one, like it's just too much difference too it's too diversified of nothing's consistent because you're taking unnecessary losses, trying to stretch out and trade something else. So the whole idea, you don't have to trade like me. You don't have to trade my setup. Maybe it's not your best setup. Maybe you trade the London hours and this doesn't perform the same as it does for me in New York on these pairs. I just want you guys to trade what works for you, your best setup. Wait for it to present like this. You can see we've had four in the past two, three weeks. And with enough capital underneath you with a reasonable risk of 1% or less, that's that's so much money that you don't need more. You don't need a bigger size. You don't need more trades. More trades is rarely ever the answer. You just need quality trades. So I'm waiting for these best setups to align. Sometimes I get two a week, three, five, one, or zero. And I'll just wait. I'm not going to try to trade every move, catch every rip, trade counter trend trade something that slightly looks like my trade but it's not it could be no i'm disciplined i wait for this best setup because it works for me so find out what works best for you and just take it consistently bag the wins you'll get confident in it it'll be a lot easier to let the other trades go because you know i don't need that i know what's waiting for me is going to help me a lot more and it's got better probabilities if you could track them when they present like this so be patient stick to your rules and just find your best setup